Okay, we got the handlebars back on for the most part. <laughs> back, uh oh, back the way it was uh, before we took them off. Uh, I still got to put the clutch uh, lever back on with the clutch cable and do the clutch adjustment on the cable. And I got to adjust the throttle cables uh, now that I got them put back on. The engine's cooled down now, finished dripping. So I'm going to go ahead and plug the oil back up, refill the reservoir. Then I'll change the spark plugs. Then I'll unplug the reservoir and bleed the hose. And then, oh yeah, the oil filter's gotta also come off. So oil filter, clean that up, replace that. Then plug the oil back up, change this, bleed the hose, change the spark plugs, good to go. Done, I think, I don't know. Once I get able to, once I get the bike back on its wheels on the ground, I'm going to adjust the handlebars and controls and all that stuff to make sure that's good to go. And then I'm going to tidy up the cables and stuff around the handlebars. So it's almost nine o'clock. So I doubt I'll be able to do any test rips around the neighborhood. We're around a bunch of old people. So I don't know. It might get squirrely. It might get squirrely. Just go. I don't know. We'll see. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let's knock it out. I think I'm done. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I have to look. But I got the handlebars back together. I got the clutch lever back together and got it adjusted. It's nice and gapped. Um, also, I noticed that the tearing on the cable was from it rubbing against this housing here. Due to the cable being so long, way too long for this bike, it was bowing out this way and it was causing this to bend the cable to rub against the inside of this housing. So what I've done is just temporarily pop the zip tie there to make sure this stays straight with this lever and hopefully it doesn't rub like that anymore. Looks a little goofy, but I mean the long cable looks goofy anyway. Um, stepping on shit. I got the throttle cables adjusted. Those are good. I might also zip tie those up here just to you know, clean them up a little bit. They're also too long for this bike. Brake works good. Throttle's adjusted good. I uh, checked the brake fluid. Everything looks fine. Looks clear on that. Tightened up the pedals. Got the spark plugs in. Got the oil changed. Got the filter changed. Got the oil cap changed. Got the gas changed. Tightened up the pegs. Got the shifter on and functioning. Oh yeah. The chrome battery cover. Yeah. Look at me. So I got to fix this on here, but the clips that hold these in are broken as they always break on these bikes. So I'm going to fix it with some zip ties. And I'm looking over at my table of chaos, I should say, and there's no parts left besides those brake pads over there I got to put on my bike. So I think I'm done. I think it's ready to rip. I mean, it's past 10 o'clock in the night here, so I'm not ripping it tonight, unfortunately. But tomorrow, <laughs> as soon as I get up, I'm going to rip this thing. I'm going to get it off this ramp and these jacks. 
Unfortunately, this is a Sportster Low, and then my mom also had lowering shocks put on it. So, so I got to do some magic with a jack, get it off the ramp, and then get the jack out from under it. Tomorrow, I can get up, rip this thing, because then I got to go fix another friend's car. Then I got to go hit up that Bad Luck Burger Club pop-up, give me a burger. I'll throw their link in the description below if you're in the Nashville area, you want a good smash burger. You gotta catch one of their secret pop-ups. They're not really secret, they're just pop-ups. <laughs> but they're really good. So rip this, fix friend's car, rip some smash burgers at Bad Luck Burger Club, and then I gotta go to a two-year-old's birthday party. Okay, here we go. Last step. That's pretty good, zip tied on. So let's go over everything. Shifter rod assembly, replace. Shifter pegs, everything, primary rebuilt, primary oil changed, good. Spark plugs changed, oil, motor oil changed, cover put back on, brake fluid checked, clutch cable adjusted, handlebars tested, handlebars adjusted. I'm probably gonna wait till the morning when I can actually sit on it before I ride it to really adjust to make sure everything's in the right position, secured clutch cable to prevent rubbing and wear, adjusted throttle cables, change the oil cap, check the air filter. I did that off camera, I think. New gas. I think she's ready to rip, boys and girls. Girls ride too. Cool. Let's pack it up, go to bed. Tomorrow, we ride. All right, today's the day. It feels like it's been a month since I've been working on this. Let's go take her for a little test drive, a little rip, and see how she's running. Hope all goes well, wish me luck. I gotta get the bike off the ramp and on its own wheels, and then I gotta sit on the bike and adjust the controls and handlebars, make sure those are all right. And then it's rip time. Here we go. Still gotta check the air pressure in the tires, make sure we're good there. Let this bad boy warm up. Here we go. 